Very good morning, guys. This is your friend and host, Mayan Batra. And today we are going to learn much more things and know much more things about digital marketing industry, a bit about that, and majorly about how to become a digital marketing influencer. So, agenda for today would be number one, let's understand basics about digital marketing. Number two, digital marketing influence. Next, influencer marketing trends. Next, reasons for brands to collaborate with influencers. How to become a digital marketing influencer? What are the other job roles in the digital marketing industry? And what exactly is the future of digital marketing? Now, let's move ahead. Let's understand the basics of digital marketing. What is digital marketing according to you? Digital marketing is nothing but guys selling your product on any online platform. Okay. So, in short, with the help of any device or internet, if you sell anything online, any digital devices involved, that is known as digital marketing as easy as that so now there are a lot of avenues in it a lot of detailed branches a lot of different stuff in digital itself few of them are something like search engine marketing social media marketing email marketing and then we have mobile marketing and then we have videos then we have a lot of other avenues seo is involved the search in the search marketing is in there but then affiliate marketing influencer marketing these are a very 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 different avenues involved google analytics a lot of tools millions of tools are involved we use only few of the few of them but frankly digital marketing is like becoming the need of an hour if you guys don't know digital marketing you actually don't know marketing anymore so that is something very crucial coming up nowadays okay so what exactly is influence especially in the field of digital marketing how do you become an influencer what is influence happening so something like this influence is equal to trust plus reach number one you need to have a good audience and trust among that audience now your audience could be on instagram your audience could be on youtube your audience could be on discord your audience could be on telegram your audience could be anywhere even an email list or even an sms list it doesn't matter audience could be anywhere all you need to build is trust between you and them so that whenever you pitch them a product or a service or any link they should be able to click it and go through that entire process that you want them to go through see influence is all about you know we get influenced by our parents by our friends by our community by some rock star film star or someone like that and then we try to follow them right we try to copy them we try to mimic them we try to gain as much as access to their lives or content right so this is what you need to do you need to be exclusive as well as be available at the same time to your audience and by this i mean you have to be very precise about what content you share what kind of things are you you know sharing with your audience what kind of audience building activities are you doing what kind of audience nurturing activities or steps are you taking these these are a lot of detailed steps when you get into influencer marketing you want to become an influencer you actually nurture your audience on a daily basis some people are like 20 to 30 stories on Instagram plus one post at least per day. This is a minimum diet for your audience. Okay. And it can go. There is no top. There is no ceiling. You can go like any number of posts and stories per day on any platform. Okay. So let's understand technically what is digital influence. It's like ability to create an effect or drive distinguishable outcomes and change behaviors online. Now this is, that is very cliche definition I should say. But in short, if you are able to make someone's lives better or try to provide some kind of value in somebody's life, in short, that would be influence. It will ultimately build trust, right? So with, with the help of your content, try to provide some kind of value to somebody's lives or business or relationship or anything. The moment you do that, you become an influencer for them. They are influenced by you. But now let's let's jump to statistics. Let's not stick to you know one thing only. There are there is a lot of content coming up. So let's talk some statistics. We'll be talking a lot of statistics in the future slides as well. For influencers who have over five lakh followers, now I know that could be a big dream for a lot of people here. But trust me, I have helped a few people. It's not rates per post on Instagram have gone up from one lakh fifty thousand per post to seven lakh per post, according to Economic Times and these are like super niche influencers what do i mean by super niche influencers they talk about a specific category and brands are looking for that kind of influencers for an example a mommy blogger for an example a yoga trainer or you know more niche in that a power yoga trainer or maybe like only a you know specific kind of food maker so niche means super hyper category 
so you can also become one but let's try to understand the difference between you know nano and all but before that so nano and micro who have less than 5000 and 30000 and so somewhere between that respectively the rates are from 3000 to 8000 and 7000 to 18000 per post so that is again a data from economic times let's talk about trends now trends with the help of influencer marketing trends the business is actually impacting on a very good scale everybody needs influencer right now even influencer coming up with some kind of let's say, let's talk about boo bum we must have heard about dindora series right even when he's an influencer on youtube and instagram and a lot of places he himself needed help of other influencers to promote his web series that would be uh, youtube series rather i should say dindora right so this is an example hardcore example of how the economy is working in the influencer space and I don't think like this number would have already been achieved 10 billion, right? But the goals are like very big and like almost triple, quadruple from here in this year, 2021 and 22. Okay. So influencer marketing is growing. We all know we follow a lot of influencers. We get influence from them. We know about a lot of products and services with the help of them. But then there are some categories of influencers like, you know, what how should i perceive like what category of this influencer is if i'm a follower of them or should i follow them or not so if someone has 1000 to 10000 followers that would come in nano influencer if somebody has 10000 to 50000 followers so we are specifically talking about instagram okay then we'll call them as micro influencer i myself am a micro influencer so somebody has 50,000 to 5 lakh followers on Instagram, mid-tier influencer. These are like rocking people. There are a lot of people in here, especially in the micro and mid-tier. And they are minting money like anything because they are associating with a lot of brands, back to back, getting a lot of projects, more, even more than macro and mega, you know. So mega would charge like, okay, let's say 10 lakh or 5 lakhs per post, doesn't matter. But mid-tier would be charging like 50,000 for at least 20 brands. So ultimately the ROI is very high for micro and mid-tier comparative to macro and mega. So your number one goal should be like being the micro category if you ever want to be one. So once that milestone is complete, then jump for 51, 55K followers, then target that and then accomplish somewhere around 1 million after that, okay? And all this can be done by content and content and content only. Okay. Never ever try to do some fake follower thing or something like growth hacks. Or some, I know growth hacks are there. A lot of people use it. Advertisements are there. But then even if you are doing any of such ethical ways also to increase your followers with the help of advertisements or, you know, other influencer uh, sharing as well. I would really appreciate if your content is valuable and regular and consistent on that particular platform because you can actually invite a lot of people to follow your page but you can't make them stay until unless you are posting it regularly i hope that sounds correct and if that you what you heard right now if that sounds correct just reply with bio in the chat bring it on bring it on the short form eh? bio so to keep the audience on your page keep them as a follower for a longer run you need consistent content valuable consistent content coming up we will be covering social media in our live sessions how they work so how does this actually work when i'm saying content content is not like posting content like okay happy or happy morning or good morning it's 6 a.m no that is 6 a.m message or good morning message should also be in the form of storytelling i'm not talking about the whatsapp forwarded messages i'm talking about in a very storytelling manner that you must be carried out in a very simple manner and that your audience can easily understand reciprocate and you know easy easily to share digest and everything your storytelling your content should be like that so the secret ingredient for your storytelling would be emotion so you if it is a morning beautiful morning 6 a.m you can post a sunrise or your picture from your gallery balcony or whatsoever and you can tell them had a great night or you know had a very tough uh, day yesterday but i hope this morning brings a lot of happiness in your lives so something kind of you know not just cheesy but also good kind of storytelling included with emotions or something like that because emotion is the secret source of content guys
i repeat emotion is the secret sauce of content you observe yourself from now on whenever you are scrolling on instagram on twitter on linkedin on youtube you will stop and watch that piece of content that has emotions in it in the thumbnail or in the title or in the post somewhere or the other your emotion is involved in that content hence you stopped and viewed at it okay that would be an observation you want to do from your end from now on now it also improves the business performance ultimately because storytelling is an art guys without storytelling a lot of businesses really do, can't sell anything even in the real world okay so storytelling is like great stuff great stuff learn that if you want to become that in, as an influencer some more details about videos that have the maximum engagement rate on social media live videos of brand products will get the highest roi motion content like gif will be on high demand and of course what is this motion content the small videos that we see of filter copy and you know scoop poop and other people so they are motion contents also like gifs so anything related to video or gif category would always be on a very good note on a very good traction space compared to an image all right so try to if you have, if you feel you are a camera shy go to youtube and just type camera shy you will get a lot of videos and number of videos to remove your camera shy thing and uh, come up with that me i myself was a camera shy being a digital marketer and uh, i removed that camera shy thing like in the previous lockdown the first lockdown and i made like 80 videos and i never posted them and then my camera shyness went when i was like pretty much confident after making some videos so if you ever feel that you are not able to make videos try to have somebody behind the camera sitting behind the camera and try to look in their eyes or on their faces and then talk and even if you don't have someone like that just paste a photo of your favorite star actor Sri Amita Bachchan or anybody like Vicky Katrina and talk to them <laughs> okay don't look in the camera directly just place the picture of them or the person the angle should be like just behind the camera so that you can look in their eyes or faces and then talk to them and the camera should be recording your face <laughs> okay you just ignore the camera in the scenario that would be my best suggestion so we have a lot of video platforms nowadays everything is like getting video 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 so we all know what these platform are right we have instagram reels nowadays going hyper up they have stolen the tiktok's idea and i mean not exactly stolen but implemented the same thing and then came up with rainbow colors with reels and uh, then we have snapchat for a lot of story related privacy content and yes some people post a lot of content over there especially the gen z then we have tiktok that was banned in india and now not being used much long form video platforms i think youtube is one of the best platforms but then we have igtv and facebook as well due to reels igtv has like gone down now so facebook is also very good video platform if you want to gain traction by videos here are some video facts videos are getting 135 percent more organic reach than others organic reach means without running any ads that kind of reach users are ready to spend three times more in watching live videos isn't that amazing live videos rocks yes we all are have been a part of other people other brands or live videos right so this is this is magic live videos are magic you can talk to them you see them the person the influencer the brand in real time you can you can experience some good stuff rather than image or videos Re live videos are awesome now what are the reasons for brands to collaborate with influencers let's try and get under that skin so here are the various reasons and depending upon the percentage percentage see how good study has been done by us the data is like almost very precise and in good easy to digestible manner right so let's let's talk about the things why influence why brands need influencers and then talk about the percentages so brands need influencers number one brand visibility number two leads and sales number three creative campaigns so that they can be a talk of the town or pr stuff and all number four loyalty for customer base number five battle a social media crisis like somebody is getting a lot of negative reviews and they really want to cope up their uh, image social media image influencers are on the toes and there are some other stuff also like computer killing or being a part of a campaign or something like that but the major three things especially like two things are basic marketing stuff branding and sales 
branding and leads branding and sales so these are the two major things where your the interest of brands are vested in influencers and influencers deliver these kind of things to the brand because they have already delivered it to them right so the first thing was to deliver that thing to them and then the brands uh, the doors for the brands were open right the audience is like trustable community brotherhood is there in the audience right now what are the budgets for influencer marketing a lot of business prefer like 14 percent of business prefer less than 50 thousand 16 percent prefer 50 thousand to 1 lakh rupees for influencer marketing while 32 percent have a budget of 1 lakh to 10 lakh rupees while about 10 lakh rupees have like 24 percent businesses recommend that now we all have seen a lot of people putting up news uh, paper ads holdings pamphlets distribution or a lot of tv ads and i think this is much cheaper than that and a very big targeted reach okay this is like hyper targeted reach touching the special categories of influencer and making sure your food product reaches to the specific set of influencers with the help of food bloggers so you are ready to spend like 1 lakh plus rupees if you know who is going to look at your content you have you have a control over it because you know the audience of those influencers right while in newspaper television radio you actually don't know who is even listening or not okay so all this data was given by talk walker on the top left you can always visit their website it's amazing website with the with the side of data they have amazing amazing insights coming up okay how to become a digital marketing influencer how many of you are excited about it so we all want to influence some or the other people in our lives right we influence our siblings we influence our friends we try to impress even the person that we like in short our crush or you know some person or we try to impress even our teachers and everybody that we come across in most of the cases but there is a special quality that a lot of people can influence easily a lot of people can't and even out of those who can influence a lot of people easily in the real world they hesitate from creating good content online isn't that the case with a lot of people that was with me so i i really wondered how to reach a lot of people how to influence a lot of people and i came across a good holy grail that said do it even if you fail it's worth trying there is no need there is no failure across okay either people will like it people will admire it or people won't either people will consume it or people won't so what there is there is no foul or there is no bad investment in creating content it's always a good investment it's like building your own portfolio online so always go for that it's a win-win situation for you today or tomorrow it will pay off okay so the thumb rule is to ensure that you know your area of expertise well what do you mean by this if you want to become a fashion influencer you should be avid aware and updated about the fashion industry trends latest news and all things the terminologies the pronunciations and everything you are into food and baking industry you should be able to know what's happening in that industry how the things are pronounced what happens if these two things combine in that particular food item would they spoil the taste or the essence of it or would they create a bad digestion for the person consuming or something like that some tricks some hacks some secrets you should be knowing about that industry okay or that particular category of products or services now key area will help you reach out to people in a small group and establish yourself as a micro influencer see that is what i said your number one target should be become a micro influencer at least 10000 followers at least so all that can be done by easy creation of content especially on instagram reels right now it's on super boom i would be giving out some tips number one use instagram reels a lot number two stay updated with the trends number three use the latest music number four use a lot of transitions number five try to create reel either that is entertaining or providing some kind of value now we all have came across a lot of entertaining reels also that we spend two to four hours every day on and then we come across a lot of stock market or ipo related or some kind of motivational reels that we are coming across as well okay so there is a brother of mine very good uh, terms i'm on with him raj shamani you might have heard about him he creates a lot of motivational and finance related reels so the value and a lot of value is being imparted so all you need to do is be consistent with a lot of valuable content and either come up with like viraj gelani come up with a lot of mostly sane bhuvan bam come up with a lot of entertaining content momentary entertaining content that people can share it with their friends to just resonate the feelings 
okay you can just tap that aspect as well so become a micro influencer that would be your target number one with the help of instagram reels only you can do that in like few weeks all you need to do is be consistent and select your audience people are going to love it so these are some different steps to become a digital marketing influencer so now we are not just talking about instagram influencer we are talking about overall digital marketing influencer you can select any platform any niche and just start working on these steps and you will get it so the number one step would be create content but i would say this is like step number 1.2 the 1.1 step would be research a lot about what you are good at and what kind of audience you want to cater so once you do that you'll be able to create a lot of share worthy and valuable and creative and engaging content you should know your thing you know so research is required and then after research start creating batch create not just create one video every day try to create 8 to 10 videos edit them and then post them daily you know you should be able to create batch content that is why you see a lot of content creators in the same kind of apparel or shirt or dress and or the top or the uh, wearings on multiple videos you see them across the same apparel or wardrobe right so because they have done batch creation but this is called batch content creation and this is a trick that you need to do even i do the same so next is promote the content you can promote it with the help of other influencers you can promote it with the help of ads you can promote it with the help of your telegram discord whatsapp sms or any other marketing angle email marketing whatever audience you have try to promote it in any manner post it on other facebook group post it to ask your other influencers to share it and uh, create good valuable content promote that content share that content across the web channels friends colleagues influencers your category whatever it is possible way as i said you need to be very 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 consistent with your content creation research on existing influencers who would be my competitor category influencers who would be like super hard growing influencers what kind of content they are creating and who are like already on a top notch level in that particular niche or category who are those influencers when you research that you know the knack of your industry now who are the leading influencers in this category who are you know growing buddies and who can collaborate with you who are your dream collaborations in the future and you can just come up with a lot of data like that now this especially on a lot of platforms like instagram try to maintain the follower and follow ratio so if you have like 1000 follower you should be at least following 15 to 20 percent of the people <clears throat> 50 150 to 200 people should be in your following as well minimum if it is below that the algorithm will be like having a red flag on your profile and it might even shadow ban or ban your profile or deactivate your profile because of community standards so either in that case if you need the difference to be more like let's say some celebrity has 1 million followers and they are not even following 3000 people so the percentage is like from 15% just came down to 1.5 or point you know 3% or something like that for that you need to be very very big level profile or influencer or film star or cricketer or sports person or someone like that a politician or something and then after that you need to have a verified profile verified profiles the algorithm works differently the usual without verified profiles the algorithm works differently so make sure that you being a non-verified profile for some time at least maintain the follower following ratio very particularly now the hashtag game has been in the talks since a few years now but let me throw some latest insights on instagram we were using like up to 30 hashtags on twitter we were using five to seven hashtags on facebook we were allowed to use zero hashtags on youtube maximum three to five hashtags on pinterest up to 15 hashtags but then recently an update came on instagram that okay three to five hashtags are enough so if you are using like even 11 or 15 hashtags the first three to five hashtags will be given the more importance okay these are some growth stuff growth hack stuff so try to focus on hashtags hyper relevant hashtags super relevant so a lot of platforms like instagram and twitter especially they work on their algorithm works on hashtags so for an example you as the person and your profile you are following much uh, content related to food 
सो योर फीड एंड योर एक्सप्लोर द सर्च सेक्शन यू नो सर्च वाला सेक्शन वुड बी मोर यू नो गिविंग मोर कंटेंट ऑन हैश टैग्स रिलेटेड टू फूड यू मस्ट हैव नोटिस इट राइट so these all are interconnected you see more content that you have been liking or staying on the post much more time or visiting the people's profile or brands or content profile you see more and more content like that because the algorithm is designed that way hence algorithm on instagram and twitter majorly works on hashtags their main game is hashtag to increase the reach okay so that more and more people can come across you can always generate a lot of content ideas with the help of some tools but spe- but specially google search itself just do some basic google search and you will see a lot of questions uh Mar- canva is not a marketing platform maybe and uh, canva is a design tool used for various purposes including marketing and canva i'm sorry it is not a part of the content but yes you can use canva for designing purpose it's beautiful tool i've been using it few years now since a few years now like 5 plus years and you can create resumes you can create social media content you can select the templates you can create posters you can labels uh, everything from letter heads to billing everything you can do over there okay it's awesome it's awesome canva is awesome so let's talk about the pointers one by one how to create content the major thing you need to focus on is the vision for your followers not for you of course your vision would be get more and more followers up to 50000 but what kind of vision do you have for your community like i want to give at least one discount deal every week right but then content can be created anywhere instagram twitter youtube pinterest even your own blogs or third party blogs or even on forums like quora blogs and any other content platforms are awesome wherever you are good with creating content just go ahead make that content and try not to forget to build a community if you are into blogging try to create an email list subscriber list right if you are into instagram try to create a link in bio and sell them something online with the help of insta mojo or some other platform so that you are creating email database okay content needs to have a vision for your followers but then you should also focus on people for inspiring people engaging them educating them with a perspective that is completely yours your own flair your own style people are going to love that don't mimic be you be the real you okay never try to mimic somebody else never try to copy someone right away don't try to copy jeff bezos jeff bezos is jeff bezos you are you so you do you let jeff bezos do jeff bezos okay never try to create your own flair come up with your own traction come up with your own style come up with your own influencer stuff okay ideas can be copied but the style the way of delivery the way of way to influence cannot so promote the content determine the platforms digital platforms where you intend to target and engage with prospective followers in short run advertisements as you can see on the left the image is saying it all try to engage and interact with the audience more with the help of advertisements if your budget allows with a consistency ads should need also be needing a lot of consistency okay then try to follow the 80 20 rule like you spend 80% of your time in marketing your content and 20% of the time creating it this will solve all your problems people do vice versa like they spend 80% of the time creating it and 20% promoting it no <laughs> okay push your contents on various social media platforms first to get followers to share it in their network so try to be everywhere 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 now maintain the content how do you maintain the content there are three r's the secret r's for you reach repeat reaction okay reach the amount of people who are in your network or whom your content should be reached or has reached or touched their smartphones or devices that is reach repetition the act of creating content regularly so that there are consistent you are consistent in posting the content on your chosen or desired platform and then reaction the way you react to the comment or criticism also like negative feedbacks or something like that it is important to listen to criticism by your follower and act on them if the feedback is valuable or at least reward them so in, you know like influencers like boom and bam they don't do the reply the negative comments or such feedbacks but but initially they used to do or rather even after that they had a team to reply but now they they know that they have a fixed private permanent following until they do some blunder 
so they have a permanent following so they don't reply a lot they just reply to the blue tick people their friends and all and people are happy with that okay so it's like talking to someone who is not replying <laughs> so that's fine this is how the influencers work okay anyway research on existing influencers we have talked about it and uh, it helps you to understand the areas of improvement but also helps in finding the key areas that are not widely covered by the influencer so uh, try to create content that people are finding it trouble to be you know seek online or finding it trouble on a daily day to day basis or they don't have the basic knowledge about it so try to create content that helps them to solve their many many problems where they get worried worried so much let's move ahead the follower and following ratio we have already discussed about it try to maintain we have talked about the percentage also try to remember this follow accounts or fellow influencers who inspire you or add value in terms of exploring the content idea see basically it's all about learning and growing if you want your audience to grow you also need to grow at a very good level so try to explore that use hashtags to ensure your, that your content is discovered try to you know brush up a lot of with the help of algorithm purposes try to brush up your content with the help of algorithm and then don't use any hashtags which you feel can work back it up with data it's not about okay i feel hashtag monday mood will work no okay let's say today is what it's wednesday so let's say some let's try to find some wednesday hashtag nobody your wednesday hashtag might not work if you are coming up with some cyber related or food related stuff no you need to come up with that specific niche content hashtag content okay and you need to do a good research about it let me share one good tool with you for hashtag research wait keyword tool lord io just use this tool and you're gonna enjoy that okay just go to instagram write digital marketing and search you'll get a lot of hashtags there don't don't depend on the numbers just use your own presence like what kind of hashtags would be fine for me you can also just click on select all and you can copy them from the bottom and there are many other hashtag tools just try to explore it that's not a big deal just just make sure that you're exploiting exploring and being very much curious about it okay now let's talk about some other roles job related roles related to digital marketing in the industry of dm there are many 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 but some of them are being highlighted here number one you can become a dme digital marketing executive digital marketing manager seo specialist search engine optimization specialist what we call is social media marketing expert also known as smm expert or social media expert or sme sem expert now what is the difference between seo specialist and sem specialist seo specialist works on content for website blogs majorly and optimize the website so that you can get a good rank on your website can get a good rank on search engine like google but sem specialist is focusing on google ads only okay so that your website gets on the top ad slots and then we have content marketing manager there are like 25 to 30 more categories and job opportunities available if you want to find that out just visit linkedin jobs category and just type digital marketing over there in your selected region and you will get like ample of job opportunities in the different categories of digital marketing roles okay so the scope is used there are like 1 lakh plus jobs available right now in india work from home and work from office included internships associate whatever role you want they're like in overall one lakh plus i'm saying very low i'm scared to quote the number but let's let's be realistic one lakh is like minimum number so there are a lot of jobs opportunities available in the digital marketing avenues you can just select one niche but you should know everything in what's there in digital marketing including seo social media analytics content everything you can select any one category and pursue your career in that okay or your maybe your business or agency or whatsoever you want so the scope is big but let me be very honest there is no future in digital marketing anymore because it's the present so if you don't do it right now it would be very late tomorrow and it's like it's it's super hot right now after one or two years or three years down the line digital marketing would be saturated or has already started becoming saturated right now it would be at a level that you need to add on some more things to be a part of digital industry 
you might need to learn data science you might need to learn artificial intelligence you might need to learn machine learning you might need to learn augmented or virtual reality and then be a part of digital as well so just like sirf engineering se kuch nahi hota mba bhi karna padta hai fir baad mein sirf digital se bhi kuch nahi hoga kuch aur bhi sath mein add on special cheez karni padegi and then you will be able to you know get yourself placed somewhere or be a part of the industry somehow in the business or agency angle or whatsoever so this is the best time to grow learn and empower yourself with the digital knowledge because it is basic need now if you don't know digital you actually don't know marketing okay let's talk about the pay scale in india so these are some pay scale for digital marketing manager stuff these are the scales just have a look at it it's in dollars can multiplied by 75 or 80 whatever the usd inr price is in short the salary is average salary is 5 lakh rupees per annum which is low right now but it improves it gets it's like in real world it's much better social media manager this is the minimum smm would be getting ओके तीस हजार तो मामूली बात है चालीस पचास मिलते हैं आजकल कंटेंट मैनेजर ऑलमोस्ट गेट्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इजीली पर मंथ एसीएम स्पेशलिस्ट इजी थर्टी थाउजेंड या दैट्स लाइक ओके विद एसीएम स्पेशलिस्ट दे ऑल नीड टू डू इज रन एड्स एंड मेंटेन इट मिनिमम थर्टी के सो दैट वाज द पे स्केल फ्रॉम द सोर्स वाज पे पे स्केल as you can see the content was copied from pay scale so for you guys so credits have been given this is how you copy the content and with the credits okay never hesitate to give credits if there is some valuable information you need to share with your audience always give credits okay so what is the future of digital marketing guys it is has been predicted that 86% of all the digital display ads will be presented via automation by 2002 again i said automation part of artificial intelligence or machine learning that is the future number 1 number 2 it has evolving marketing roles and is no longer limited to chief information officer or chief marketing officer you can have at least like 30 plus people in the marketing uh, department and still have different roles with them growth hacker ad specialist this specialist that specialist manager this manager that there are like ample of opportunities in a single company industry or category okay it has super high engagement ratio so the conversion rate is also high basically business boom by 2022 80% of the global 2000 companies will see most of their business depending on their ability to create products and services online create content for people online and provide them online services you observe yourself like you have been using amazon more than you used to visit the local kirana store or local uh, shopping mall near you you have been using amazon more and more and have been stepping less on those nearby stores right if you are the consumer and is becoming digital why won't brands be they want to provide more and more convenience to keep you as a loyal audience and keep coming back right so try to understand this if you are too much deep in it scope is huge scope is super awesome all you need to do is just start working on it create some good content provide value to your audience and make sure that just explore as much as you can okay follow a lot of influencers follow a lot of big people in the industry the sharks the regardless of the country they belong to follow the shark influencers that are at very big level and just make sure that you create some what good quality and good content related stuff valuable content that is shared worthy i think that's all for today guys let's call it off have a great time guys stay healthy stay safe and keep rocking cheers